these, these 2009 national scholars are some of the best and brightest students in the country. They have overcome fantastic and amazing challenges that some of us can't even imagine going through. Nobody in my family has went to college. Um, few people in my family have even got the opportunity to graduate from high school, let alone go to high school. At around that same age, that's when my mother developed a drug addiction and me and my older brother were taken away from my family. You just get treated differently just because you're a foster child, just because of that label. They feel that you can get thrown away, that you, you're, not, you're not needed. You're just here because we felt, you know, we could take care of you and you need to do what you need to do to stay here. The things that you wouldn't find an, a nine-year-old brother having to teach his younger brother, you would think he would be teaching him how to throw a football or something like that. He was teaching me how to not get caught stealing from the local corner stores so we could eat. My final two years of high school, I've had my own apartment and I've been living on my own, supporting myself with two jobs and that's pretty much my story. Just growing up, um, my family was really normal at first. Well, normal to me, you know. And uh, my mom did drink a lot, you know, and then it progressively got worse. She started getting a really bad drug problem. And then after about like a month of my dad being gone, she started having a lot of boyfriends. And they were like very abusive and they were also drug addicts. One time my mom tried to choke my sister one day before school because she wouldn't wear the right shoes. So my sister went to school with a red neck and everything. The school nurse, you know, asked her what it was and she told them. So the nurse, of course, contacted a CPS. I sort of stayed with my mom, but my mom didn't really have a house. So I kind of stayed in my mom's car. And um, then after a while, she kind of started staying in this old house that we had used to live in about 10 years earlier, but no one had touched it for 10 years. So of course it was, you know, so just deteriorated and the ceiling was falling in. My room had a breaker box in the closet, but when it would rain, the water would leak onto the breaker box. And I'm gonna go uh, as a nursing major so I can be a nurse.